How you doing everybody? It's your health and fitness specialist, Kelly Brown. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about what is the best form of cardio. Okay, so let me just break down the benefits of cardio real fast so that you kind of have a better understanding about why I'm making this, this statement and how you can apply it to yourself in your everyday life, okay? So the benefits of cardio is that are that they help you to do two things. You can do aerobic cardio, which is great um, just for your regular target heart rate and being heart healthy and being um, you know, wind, not long-winded and things. Aerobic cardio is anything you're doing that you can sustain doing for a long period of time. It's not going to wear you out. It's not going to get you winded. You just can do it for a long period of time. The thing about long, steady-state cardio or aerobic cardio, whatever you want to call it, is that you can burn fat, but it's very slow. And a lot of times people don't want to burn fat slowly. You want to burn fat quickly. And you also want to be able to have a type of um, body that burns fat all the time. You want to be a fat burning machine. Okay, so what we do is anaerobic cardio. Anaerobic cardio is the opposite, which means that you're going to be doing a, a fast paced, high intense type of cardio and it really gets you burnt out, it really gets you winded, and the, the benefit of doing anaerobic cardio is that your body oxidizes more fat, which means that your body burns off the fat that you currently have stored inside of you and uses that as energy to get you through that exercise and in turn makes you start looking leaner because it's using the fat that you already have in you and pulling from that versus what um, aerobic cardio will be doing, which is pulling from not necessarily the fat, but just kind of pulling from the food that you currently have in your body, sugars, excess, okay? So what you want to do is anaerobic cardio. And the best form of anaerobic cardio is high intense interval training. Now don't think that you got to do some type of hardcore sprints and then stop and then sprint and stop. You don't have to do it like that. All you have to do is do something that's intense for, for a minute or two, and then you slow down and you do something that's low intense for a minute or two. And then back to being intense, back to being low intense, and high intense and low intense, high intense and low intense. And the benefit of this is that it actually helps you to burn fat at rest. So it continues to burn fat even when you're not doing it. It makes your body just start to become a fat burning machine. And that's what you want. When I get ready for my competitions, whenever I have my past, if I was getting ready for a photo shoot or anything, what I would like to do is I start off my morning and a lot of people do fasted, regular aerobic cardio. But what I like to do is fasted high intense interval training cardio because I can keep my time shorter I don't have to do it for a long period of time just to get to the same result and I can do simple exercises like the treadmill and what I like to do on the treadmill is get on here I turn up the incline so that it's hard to actually walk on and I walk at it for not a real fast pace but a pace that's efficient enough for me to stay on it but still feel like it's going to make me start burning the sweat and then I'll stay in that, in that zone for about two minutes. What I'll do is I'll turn the machine right back down and then I'll stay in it for one minute walking on low intense. And I'll turn it back to high intense and I'll turn it back to low intense, but I always keep it on the highest incline. And that's what makes it to become more of like walking on a hill. And I don't mind you holding on, you can hold on to whatever you want to do, but just make sure that you're not like, make sure it's not too fast when you're getting ready to start running. You just want to be walking on it like high, like high intense, brisk walking, like power walking kind of thing. And then you just turn it back down and you walk on it real slow. So anyway, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to demonstrate um, how I actually use it and then hopefully you guys can use it for yourselves. And like I said before, do it fasted first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. So, you know, use the bathroom, do your number two, get rid of that. And then what you're going to do is take the the cardio and that's going to start pulling from the fat that you currently have stored in your body and if you're trying to burn fat of course you don't want to go back to eating a whole bunch of fatty stuff anyway but you want to eat clean so that whatever fat that your body currently does have it can start to become used and oxidized as energy and in order to do that this is what we're going to do and so let me give you a demonstration of that so i'm just going to hit quick start right here and as it's starting off, I'm just going to turn my incline up all the way to 15.
and all we're going to do is a 2-1 motion. So, I mean, a 2-1 ratio. So, two minutes to one minute, two minutes to one minute. I'm not going to let you guys stick around for the whole two minutes, but I do want you to see the how fast I walk. So, I'm going to turn it up fast now, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I like to put mine on about a 4.5. And you don't have to put yours on the floor. You can start off on something less than that. Maybe like a 3.5. So you can start off right by here. But we have a real brisk walk. I like to keep my hoodie on. Don't forget to get your hoodies. Click the link below. Keeps you nice and warm when you're doing your exercises. And a little bit cardio is going to get more towards 7% of your heart rate. And so, what I'm doing now, walking fast, holding on. Thank you. And I can already feel myself starting to shut down. And then, when you hit your two legs, just slow it back down. Just slow it back down, catch your breath, chill out. If I were you, I would get some type of stepping machine, put it in my house so that you don't have to actually leave out first thing in the morning. Get your iPad or your tablet or your TV, just set it right in front of your TV or your tablet and just watch your shows. Walk real slow, let everything come back down, catch your breath, and then do the same thing. And all you got to do is do it for about 20 minutes. So just back and forth for 20 minutes. Every morning, maybe five days a week. Start off maybe two, three days a week. And you'll see the results fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to get your merch, your t-shirts. Um, this month's t-shirt is dropping below. My heart shirts um, for February. And I'm going to have a new drop of shirt each and every month coming up. So anyway, thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.